What the fudge is going on ladies? Welcome to your seventh Photoshop tutorial and in this lesson I have to talk about the navigator panel and I gotta teach you guys about screen modes and I'm gonna be going over the zoom tool whole bunch of crap that I'm gonna be teaching you guys so let's go ahead and start with the navigator panel now by default the navigator panel is not um, visible so go ahead to your window and make sure that the navigator panel has a check next to it. If it doesn't, then go ahead and click it. And now you see that your navigator panel opens up on the left hand side. So just go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Not too big. That's what she said. And that looks pretty good right there. So what the navigator panel is, is it's basically an easy way to navigate around your image or document. Now the pretty much most simple thing that you can do with it is just zoom in and out of your image so here's my main image right now this is actually a picture of my sister uh, I don't know what she's doing just probably you know being a model in training so to zoom in what you need to do is hold this slider right here on your navigator panel and zoom in just like this now as you can see a red box appears whenever you zoom in far enough now the red box basically represents the visible area of your image so as you can see it's you know close to her hand in her bottom lip so that is the visible area in your main document now of course if you want to zoom out you can either use the slider or you can use these two little mountain icons next to it small mountain of course zooms out large mountain zooms in in increments now the last thing that you could do or the last technique that you can use is you can actually enter a value so you know how we're zoomed in to 81 percent well if we want to go ahead and zoom out to I don't know 25 percent just go ahead and type in 25 hit enter and then your image is going to be zoomed out 25 percent by the way the default is 100 right there so aside from that as you can see earlier I talked about this little red box now red is a pretty cool color and you know this little red box is contrast to a lot of typical pictures but what if you're working with I don't know a photo that's in the morning where there are a lot of reds or maybe you're just working with a graphic and there's a lot of red colors in that well then this red box can get kind of confusing and you may want to change it to a different color so to change this red box to a different color what you need to do is you need to use the option menu right here and choose panel options this gives you your navigators options and the only option is what color do you want to change the box to so let's go ahead and change this to I don't know like a orange or something looks pretty good and uh, there you go now your box is orange so if you want to change the color that's how you do that now the next thing I want to talk about is screen modes now a lot of people just like to stick with this default screen mode but there are often times where other screen modes are definitely super beneficial so the default screen mode and of course to access your screen mode it's this button right here the default screen mode is standard screen mode and that's a screen mode with all your panels um, the bar at the bottom pretty much all this gray space around it now if you want to go to a different one then choose full screen mode with menu bar now as you can see whenever I did that everything kind of changed and the first thing you can notice is the little windows bar that was on the bottom that had the little uh, windows icon and the time and the toolbar it disappeared also there are no tabs on the top giving you the name of the document now the last screen mode is full screen mode and whenever you select this it gives you a little prompt that says okay you're about to go into full freaking screen mode it's kind of a big deal and it the reason that they give you this prompt is because whenever you click full screen there are no buttons so if you're clicking around like oh uh, how do I get out how do I get out you get out by pressing escape or F and then it puts you back into standard but those are the different screen modes and one thing I want to point out is that of course in standard mode you can do things like paint the picture in full screen mode you also have full access to all of your tools so even though you can't see your tools on the left hand side you can go ahead and I don't know maybe draw her a pair of glasses or uh, you know just give her some nail polish you also have full access to your tools even though you can't see them a lot of people don't know that 
Now the last thing I want to talk about now that we covered screen mode in the navigator panel is the zoom tool. Now this zoom tool is the magnifying glass right here and it's the first tool that I want to go over because it's extremely important. Now even though it's only one tool there are multiple ways that you can zoom in and around your image. The first thing you can do is you can click a certain spot. So say I wanted to zoom into her eye. I'm just going to go ahead and hold the tool over her eye, click, 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 it zooms into her eye. So then you know maybe I could uh, make some better glasses or change the color of her eye, her eye, whatever I want to do. Now another thing that's kind of useful is you can also hold this in. Now instead of clicking, just click once and hold it in and as you can see it zooms slowly into wherever you're holding. Now the last thing that you can do aside from clicking and holding it in is you can drag. So whenever you click this and drag right it zooms in and whenever you drag left it zooms out. So remember click, hold it in, or drag right and left those are the three different ways you can zoom and another thing I want to show you guys real quick is say you're zooming around and you know you got all confused if you just double click this little magnifying glass then it puts you back to 100 percent default value so there you go there is how to use the navigation panel how to change screen modes and also how to use the zoom tool again even though it's one little tool, it's pretty powerful once you get to know it. And you're definitely going to be using this a lot. It's probably your second most common tool. So uh, there you go. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.